Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for college entrance exam mathematics. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review tayo for College Entrance Exam Mathematics which is part 1 of this series of these videos. So, gagawa ko ng series of videos for College Entrance Exam Reviewer for Mathematics na applicable kapag mag-take kayo ng College Entrance Exam sa UPCAT, PUPSET, ASET, DCAT, USET, etc. So, so marami na rin akong tutorials about math at meron akong different playlist like algebra, trigo, geometry, analytic geometry, calculus, integral calculus, differential calculus, differential equations, and so on na pwede nyo rin panoorin para mas matutunan nyo ng mas detalyado yung iba't ibang branch ng mat na yun. For example, sa algebra, marami akong videos doon na pwede nyo uh, panoorin as the foundation of all the math subjects na pwede nyo may encounter kapag nag-aaral kayo sa college. Okay? So, magsasagot tayo ng sets of questions. So, let's start with question number 1. Evaluate the algebraic expression y times quantity x over 2 minus 3 minus 4a when a is equal to 3, x is equal to 6, and y is equal to 1 half. Okay, so substitution lang. So, substitute natin dito sa given expression na y times quantity x over 2 minus 3 minus 4a, yung value ng ax at y. So, y is 1 half times x natin is 6. So, 6 over 2 minus 3 minus 4a. A is 3. So, 4 times 3. So, anahin natin itong nasa parenthesis. So, we have 6 over 2 minus 3 is what? 6 divided by 2 is 3. Minus 3 is 0. So, therefore, we have 1 half times 0 minus then this time, itong 4 times 3, 12, right? So, we have 1 half times 0 minus 12 or negative 12. So, 1 half times negative 12 is, so parang may over 1 to, right? So, parang 1 half times negative 12 over 1. So, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. But, check natin kung may makakancel ba tayo. Meron ba tayong makakancel sa numerator at denominator? Yes, itong 2. Kasi itong negative 12, pwede natin i-factor as negative 2 times 6, right? So, cancel si 2. So, ang natira is negative 6 over 1 or simply negative 6. So, therefore, the answer is letter D. Okay? Next, we have 35% of 15% of X is equivalent to which of the following? Okay, so dito muna tayo sa 15% of x equal siya sa, transform natin into decimal itong 15%. So, imumove lang natin yung invisible decimal point dito ng 2 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, so 0 point, 15. Then, tatanggalin na natin itong percent symbol. Kapag off, ibig sabihin niyan multiplication. So, parang sa algebra, dinidikit lang natin yung variable. So, 0 point, 15, x. And then, 35% pa nitong 0.15x. So, ganun ulit. Gawin natin decimal itong 35%, 0.35. And then, off. So, ibig sabihin, multiplication ulit. Ito times natin siya sa 0.15x. So, simplify lang natin itong 0.35 times 0.15. So, multiply natin. 0.35, 0.15. 0 so, as if whole numbers lang sila, multiply natin. 5 times 5, 25. Carry 2, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2, 17. Then, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. Then, add. Bring down 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry 1. Then, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. Then, bilangan natin yung decimal places. So, dito sa 0 0.35, dalawa. 0 0.15, dalawa. So, total of 4. So, dito sa dulo na 5, magmumove tayo ng total of 4 na decimal places papunta sa kaliwa. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron tayong 0 0.0525 times x. So, the answer is letter A. Okay? 
Next, we have 25 more girls than two-thirds the number of boys participate in interscholastic sports at a local high school. If the number of girls participating is 105, how many boys participate? Okay, so yun hanap yung number of boys. So, let x natin be the number of boys. So, sabi, 25 more girls than two-thirds the number of boys will participate. So, pag nirepresent natin ito into algebraic expressions, we have, so, 25 more than, so, plus two-thirds of the number of boys. So, two-thirds times yung x natin na number of boys equal daw to saan? So, yun sabi, yung total number of girls participating is 105. So, equal siya sa 105. So, therefore, pinapahanap si x sa nabuo nating equation. So, solve lang natin si x. Linear equation lang naman. So, multiply muna natin both sides by 3 para makancel yung denominator na 3. So, distribute. Makakancel dito si 3. Matitira si 2x plus 3 times 25 is 75. Equals. So, 3 times 105 is what? So, times 3. So, 15, 0, 1. 3 times 1 is 315. So, para masolve si x, transpose natin si 75. So, 2x is equal to 315 minus 75. 2x is equal to 315 minus 75 is what? 315 minus 75. So, 0. Then, 11 minus 7 is 4. So, 2 na lang to, 240. So, divide natin both sets by 2 para masolve si x. x is equal to 240 divided by 2 or simply 120. So, therefore, the answer is letter C. Okay? Next, we have a cylinder has a surface area of 2,512 square feet. The height of the cylinder is 3 times the radius of the base of the cylinder. Find the radius and the height of the cylinder. Okay, so surface area daw ng cylinder. So, ang formula kasi natin doon sa surface area ng cylinder is 2 pi r times r plus h. Or simply 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Okay? So, pag in natin sa given surface area na 2,512, pero nating masolve yung R or H. Kaso, kulang tayo ng condition. Two variables tayo, right? Tapos, isa pa lang equation natin. Pero, sabi doon sa second statement, the height of the cylinder is three times the radius of the base. So, the height of the cylinder is three times the radius of the base. So, pwede natin isubstitute ngayon itong H in terms of 3R. So, dito sa formula. So, 2,512 is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h in terms of r na 3r. So, therefore, we have 2,512 is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi times 3 is 6 pi. Then, r times r is r squared. So, equal siya sa 2,512 equals... So, pag natin to, 2 pi r squared plus 6 pi r squared. Ilan yan? 8 pi r squared. Right? So, masasolve natin dito si r as 2,512 over 8 pi square root. So, using calculator, equal siya saan? Approximately 10. Right? So, therefore, yung radius natin is 10 feet. Tapos, para masolve yung height, height is equal to 3R. So, 3 times, yung nasolve natin R na 10, we have 3 times 10 or 30 feet. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have solve the inequality 4 over 3X minus 5 greater than X minus 2. Okay, so... We have 4 thirds x minus 5 is greater than x minus 2. So, multiply muna natin both sides by the LCD na 3 para wala tayong denominator. So, distribute natin. We have 3 times 4 thirds x is mga cancel si 3. Matitira is 4x. 
Then, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Greater than, so dito rin, distribute, 3 times x is 3x. Then, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then, pagsamahin ko dito sa left side, yung mga x, yung tapos yung mga constant dito sa right. So, transpose natin. So, 4x, 3x transpose natin sa left, magiging negative 3x. Greater than, negative 6, then itong negative 15, transpose natin sa kanan, magiging positive 15. So, 4x minus 3x is x, greater than, negative 6 plus 15 is positive 9. So, therefore, the answer is, x is greater than 9. Letter C. Okay? Next, we have the lines y is equal to 2x and 2y equals negative x are so, meron na tayong two lines given by the equations y is equal to 2x and 2y is equal to negative x. So, para malaman natin kung ano ba yung dalawang lines na to, i-transform natin into slope-intercept form yung y is equal to mx plus b. So, ito, nakatransform na. So, therefore, yung m niya is 2. Yung coefficient ng x. Tapos, yung b niya is 0. Tapos dito, divide natin both sides by 2, we have y is equal to negative x over 2. So, therefore, yung m niya dito is negative 1 half. So, meron kasi tayong theorem na kapag, kapag yung product ng slopes ng dalawang lines is equal to negative 1 perpendicular sila. So, pag pinag-multiply natin tong 2 times negative 1 half, anong sagot? Negative 1. So, therefore, perpendicular yung dalawang lines kasi yung product ng slopes nila is equal to negative 1. Okay, so the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have which of these relations does not represent a function? Okay, so kapag meron kayong given relation or set of ordered pairs tulad nitong mga choices, para malaman nyo kung ano yung hindi function doon, check nyo yung mga first element or yung x coordinate. So, kapag may nakita kayong magkaparehong x-coordinate or abscissa, automatic, hindi na siya function. Kasi, one to many, correspondent siya. So, alin dito yon Yung naulit yung x-coordinate. Obviously, itong c. Kasi yung 2 naulit sa first coordinate. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is letter c. It is not a function. Okay? Next, we have... What is the slope of the line containing 0, 1 and 6, 8? Okay, so meron lang tayong formula ng slope as rise over run or given two points, it is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So let's say itong 0, 1 yung point 1, so denote natin si 0 as x sub 1, then si 1 as y sub 1. Then, si 6, 8 as the second point. So, denote natin si 6 as x, 2 and 8 as y, 2. So, substitute natin. So, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is 8 minus 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is 6 minus 0. So, 8 minus 1 is 7 over 6 minus 0 is 6. So, therefore, the answer is 7 over 6. Letter A. Okay. Next, we have simplify 5 over 8 plus 1 over 12 minus 5 over 16. Okay, so addition and subtraction of the similar fractions kasi magkakaiba yung denominator nila. So, hanapin muna natin yung LCD nila. So, list natin yung multiples ng 8, 12, at 16. So, sa 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on. Sa 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. Sa 16, we have 16, 32, 48, and so on. So, so meron na agad, pinakamababang nagkaroon silang common multiple, which is itong 48. So, therefore, yun yung LCD. So, ang magiging bagong denominator natin is 48. So, 48 divided by, ito muna tayo sa 5, 8. Denominator niya is 8. So, 48 divided by 8 is 6. Then, times the numerator na 5 is 30. Plus, sa 1, 12. 48 divided by 12 is 4. Times numerator na na 1 is 4 pa rin. Minus, 
So 5 over 16, we have 4 day divided by 16 is 3 times numerator nga na 5 is 15. So therefore, we have 30 plus 4 minus 15 is what? 19 over 48. So therefore, the answer is 19 over 48. The answer is letter A. Okay. Next, we have multiply and simplify 2x plus 4 over x minus 5 times 3x minus 15 over x plus 2. Okay, so multiplication of rational expression. So factor out muna natin yung bawat rational expression. So ito muna tayo sa 2x plus 4 over x minus 15. So factor out natin itong numerator. 2 times, common muna mal factor is 2. So we have x plus 2 over x minus 5. So simplest form nga na to. Times, itong 3x minus 15, Common monomial factor is 3. Factor out natin yung 3. We have 3 times x minus 5 over x plus 2. Simplest form yun na. So, check natin kung may makakancel ba sa numerator at denominator. So, obviously, meron. Itong x plus 2, cancel. Itong x minus 5, cancel. So, anong natira? 2 times 3 sa numerator or 6 over 1 times 1 or 1. So, 6 over 1 or simply 6. So, therefore, the answer is letter D. Okay, so puputulin ko muna dito yung part 1 ng ating college entrance exam reviewer for mathematics. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next upload ko for college entrance exam review mathematics part 2. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.